All right, thank you for joining us now. Tourism sector players have continued to call for more collaboration between countries in the region, calling on regional government to expedite the air travel treaties to improve connectivity in the region. Now, Kenya has also been urged to consider grading for different parks to inform the public on pricing and grow the industry. What tour operators of Kenya are able to offer and understand might not be practical for tour operators of South Africa to, to understand the same with, with vice versa. So what is important is that we need to, en, to, to create a partnership and a collaboration amongst tour operators so that they're able when they direct tour, I mean, a tourist from one country to the next, they are able to, 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 to work together and be able to share ideas and cooperate in that way. But what is more important is how to improve uh, our airlifting capacity within the region, within the countries, so that we are able, therefore, to move seamlessly from one country to the next with, with tour operators working together and collaborating each other. We've started that program, uh, especially with Nigeria and South African tour operators. They've been working together. And that's what we want to expand from all the other countries in the region so that we're able to make sure that these tour operators, they don't work in silos, but they cooperate with each other and be able, therefore, to expand a, 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 the tourist a, a, in, in the region. All right, lastly, uh, Mr. Deputy Minister, of course, uh, recently the question of pricing has become a big conversation here in Kenya. So maybe you can help us understand and maybe even help us <coughs> learn from some of the lessons in South Africa, particularly how you go about with the pricing model, uh, whether it's for the game results, whether it's for the different two operators. What is the, how did you crack that code? Well, well in terms of the pricing, um, well, it's, it's not regulated. <laughs> Uh, it's not regulated, but it's based on the on the on the on the grading. A, a five-star grading prices will not be the same as the three-star grading, so it differs from one grading to the next. Uh, but secondly, what we have done as a country, we've worked with the private sector uh, because we felt that we need to strengthen domestic market, the local traveling. What we then agreed with the, with the private sector is that there must be a tier pricing system. That is the price for, 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 for South Africans, the price for the region, and the, and the price for, for anybody from Europe and Americas. So, so that's how we're balancing it, so that we, we, we encourage uh, South Africans and the people in the region to be able to visit South Africa and tour of South Africa eh, so that we don't have the same price. Now, KCB Group has posted at 30.7 billion in net profit for the nine months ending September 30th, 